One of the most exciting bits about chemistry, I think, is the capacity for, logically, people to be able to build new things, analyse things, and ultimately make a difference in the world. As we unlock new bits of science all the time, then we're coming up with the, the new building blocks of fantastic materials and technology that we'll be able to use in the future. It is always changing. You can't predict what's going to happen next. I can't predict what it's going to be like in 50 years' time. I don't know what I'm going to be doing, and I find that really exciting. When choosing where to study chemistry, it's very important that you study chemistry at a place where you know you're going to get the support that you need to excel in your studies. And you really want to choose a place where cutting edge research is actually being carried out. Warwick Chemistry has an excellent reputation uh, for both teaching and research. We have a very uh, young and vibrant uh, faculty that have been recruited from around the world. And every member of our faculty undertakes both research and teaching. That means that when they, uh, they teach, they can bring research relevance to the, to the teaching and help inspire our students. They've got some amazing academics that have done some huge research in nanoparticle science, in semiconductor science, in organometallics. So if you're working with these people who have done it, been there, got the t-shirt, then you know that you're going to be learning from them. You know that the experience you gain is invaluable. My research is all about how materials interface with biology. So can we understand what happens with a cell or an organ or a tissue? interfaces with an everyday material like a polymer or a plastic. In particular, we want to see if we can uh, stop the cells from being damaged when we freeze them. At the moment, I'm very much uh, interested in sensor development, using some of kind of like the more exotic carbon materials, such as nanotubes, diamond, um, in a whole host of application areas. Students coming in work with us really get exposed to a whole variety of different aspects of science, plus the fact we go from scientific problems, biology, all the way through to physics. So even though chemistry is at the core, they get to work on lots of exciting application areas. I worked with Dr. Ross Hatton and also worked directly with a PhD student and my research contributed to her thesis. I wanted to know whether or not a research career in you know, an R&D scientist is for me. Having done this project, I decided that I'd like to do a PhD in the future. We offer a range of opportunities for our students to get experience both in industry and in, uh, in academia or overseas institutions. You have the classical year in industry and, and during that period you also have some distance learning modules so you're in close contact with us and we'll send people over to visit you uh, to see whether everything goes fine. On top of that is actually I think quite unique to Warwick Chemistry and that is that in year three in the third term instead of doing labs at Warwick University you go away and you go to industry or you go to a, an institution overseas. So for example, you can go to Singapore or you can go to the University of Tasmania. And all those schemes are sponsored by the university. So there's bursaries available. We make sure that the travel costs are limited and that whilst you're out there, you have a good time. Warwick is a very special university. Uh, we particularly specialize in inter interdisciplinary science, interdisciplinary research. The borderlines between the disciplines here are very thin. Chemists do really communicate and work with mathematicians and life scientists to realize that Warwick has a campus which goes right across these disciplines, right across these borderlines. It's really exciting for the young people. We've got all kinds of things here. Things are essentially physics. We can do very physics kind of chemistry, looking at you know, molecules in the gas phase and doing those kind of things, all the way through to things which I think most people essentially think of biology, and you're really looking just at the chemical aspects of biology. Chemistry is very interdisciplinary now. So all these areas actually bring together a, a number of um, different disciplines to tackle really important issues. The MChem is a Master's in Chemistry, which is the fourth year of the chemistry course here at Warwick. So as opposed to the other three years which you can do, it, it's a more research-based, more active kind of year for us. It's a very social environment and it's very creative and everyone shares and bounces ideas off each other daily, which is really fun and it's quite independent work and it makes you very motivated to get up every day and you also know that you're working towards something that contributes to someone's actual work, so you're more of a scientist because what you do feels more real in a way. 
The biggest quality of this department, in my opinion, is the friendliness of the academic staff. We're very, very approachable. And, and because of this, the students get the, get the impression from the outset that they can approach us for any kind of problems with their, their chemistry or pastoral care. The lecturers are really good. If you have any problems, any questions, you can see them after lectures in their offices. They set up office hours so you can go and see them outside of lectures and I find that really helpful. Coming to university is not just about acquiring an education, it's about growing up. Students who come to us are often just left home for the first time. It's, it's a big step for people to make. So when a student first turns up at Warwick, they are assigned a personal tutor. That personal tutor stays with them for the three or the four years they're at Warwick. It's somebody they should turn to as a first port of call. It's somebody they will go to to get feedback on all their exam results and their class tests and their performance during the years. And ultimately, at the end of the three or four years, it's somebody who will write them a reference. We think developing your transferable skills is an important part of the degree and we have a, a programme of transferable skills events throughout the three or four years because at the end of your degree you're going to be interviewing in a chemical company or a pharmaceutical company and it's just as important to them your transferable skills and whether you'll be a good team player in their organisation as how much chemistry you know. We help you every step of the way in making the clear choice that's right for you we support you with all of the practical aspects in preparing your CV and application forms through to interview practice and helping you make that transition into the world of work. As a chemist I had loads of career options open to me because it teaches you loads of different skills, uh, critical thinking and analysis but also in the modern chemistry degree like Warwick's then you get uh, loads of communication skills training as well. So. Uh, I've been a press officer and I've done media interviews a lot and now I'm editing a magazine. I never dreamed I'd do that when I was doing my chemistry degree, but it gives you all sorts of options. At the moment I'm securing myself an industrial placement scheme, again something that Warwick helped me with. I'd love to go into the academic type of role, but to have your own lab, to have your own projects, to, to be able to do your own research, that's something that really interests me. Chemistry is a, a practical subject and large amounts of the course involves practical training in chemistry so having the very best facilities to teach chemistry is, is absolutely imperative. The biggest resource is the teaching labs which you can see behind me. Um, this is part of a four million pound refurbishment program which started uh, two years ago and uh, we will be investing another one and a half million pounds this year uh, for refurbishment of a second undergraduate teaching lab. Recently in Warwick is that we had a huge investment of about £50 million in new facilities and equipment to buy us cutting edge uh, analytical facilities. So we've got the best material science analytical facilities in the whole of the UK now at Warwick. So this allows us to do more research faster and at a far more in-depth level than you could uh, elsewhere. We have a variety of research groups that do different things and there's all facilities that can suit all of them really. For example, we have cutting edge NMR facilities and mass spectrometry. So those are very vital really when you're doing research. I think that chemistry is involved in every aspect of life. Everything that we do is in some way related to, to chemistry and to chemicals. The realisation that there's still so much to be discovered, so many, in my case as I say, elements of the periodic table for which the chemistry is poorly understood. And that's what makes it very exciting, I think. Particularly exciting for the young people coming into the subject because there's a lot of things still to be discovered. Every day is different. It's the joy of finding things out. And not only that, but engaging and interacting with people that spark ideas off you and that push you forward and challenge you. I think for me it's challenging myself through science. I'm able to tackle some global problems with my research and make an impact, not necessarily a major impact, but some impact is really, I think that's just unbelievable.